Car 11K. Shots fired. Suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger on your ambulance, 11K. All units, code four on the 211 at Bank of America. Code four. All right, then. To the next place. Bum, 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 bum. To the Henry residence. All right, let's go. This game will help me help me test my detective skills as I am wanting to pursue a career in law enforcement if of course my Twitch and YouTube hobbies don't take off that is Calling all cars citizen reports officer needs help shots fired officer down 6th street and Lindley place 6th street and Lindley place unit to handle code 3 identify If my hobbies on YouTube and Twitch do take off, that would be amazing. But of course, I did pick like a really bad time to start a hobby on YouTube. And with everything that's going on with like the adpocalypse and stuff like that. And just the whole YouTube monetization problems and... It's, it's actually gotten a lot harder for smaller creators to be, to be recognized. Because their videos just aren't being recommended and promoted, which should happen more often. Like I understand, oh, if you just wanna, you just wanna see your favorite uh, people or people who might be related, but it's like you gotta at least give smaller creators a chance to grow. I mean, I think that at least would be fair. But the whole thing with like, oh, you need a hundred K channel views in order to monetize your videos. I'm like, okay, so I could just fucking get copyrighted music on every single thing and not have to worry about monetization because I can't monetize them. I'm at like 10% of that. I'm at like 10 K channel views. Which don't get me wrong is fucking lot that's more than i'll try the back door uh, i right think here it's a more than more than the people who attend my college it's mental i have a feeling he's gonna be dead Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Newspaper. Family burnt to death. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Hmm. 
Fontaine. What are you doing here? Alright, where's the bedroom? Yeah, is there a photo in here? Oh, it's very messy. Oh, here's a photo. No! Not that. Photo. Thank you. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. kitchen around here. Make me a sandwich. In a kitchen. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> no, there's nothing here. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment two. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Size six, I think. Or is that a nine? I think that's a nine. Galloway, homicide, badge number five sixty four. Requesting technical services for a suspected four fifty nine at one forty two North Union. See if we can't go find any neighbors. Wrong house. <laughs> Wrong neighbors. It was neighbor over here. Yeah. They knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Hello there. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m., she was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. <laughs> that over-the-top reaction... Okay, so next place we'll go to is Jacob Henry's apartment. He's already in the fucking car. Oh my lord. Isn't there a street crime we can do? Yes, there is. 
What's this? It's the crime scene. No, 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 no. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Shots fired, officer down, 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. Unit to handle code 3, identify. This is car 11K. We're on the help call. 11K, shots fired, officer down, 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. Everybody move out of the way. This is the police. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I can't go that high anymore. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Shit. Cop killer shot. Oh no. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Get over here, will you? This isn't as much fun as it looks. All right, let's go. R.I.P. Officer. Oh, shouldn't have had that second lunch. Second lunch? I'm jealous. <laughs> Wish I was able to eat that much food. You like killing cops? Won't help console the officer's family, but these guys are done. Okay, you can go ahead and can drive you drive to, to this one? Henry's place as well. So I'll probably get lost. Jacob okay, Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. I'm, I'm gonna go take a piss. Okay. Sneak in through the back. Sneaky, sneaky. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest. He's not for murder what I thought wife, he would Celine be. Henry. Murder. Celine. Save the dramatic. Oh my for RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here. You, you tell me that Celine is. 
Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Okay. You think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. I'll cause an illness. Let's look for the phone. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. Up oh, here we go. Yes, I am moving the pencil. Oh, this is some Sherlock Holmes shit right now. I am really bad at this. Gotta, gotta fill in this, this edge room here. There we go. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. Okay. Let's go to his room. Maybe he has a shoe in there. Okay, I don't know where his room is. <laughs> where am I going? Ah, there was something over here. Something very sneaky. Oh, here's the room. Okay. Shoes on here. Size 11. Size 11s. So I don't. He can't be the murderer then, because it was size 8, wasn't it? Look. Clues. Yeah, size 8 shoe prints. He's a size 11. Bum, 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 bum. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Liar. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. How do you explain? Dears. We know she went to the Bomba Club. The bartender there. He, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go and I bring her home. He called me last night. And I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm gonna have to live with that. Mm hmm. Lost contact. When did you last death. see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. He's telling the truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look. I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Go to Fumata. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Liar! 
I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? 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 Yeah, I will. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss in a trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell <laughs> you me you love her? Ah, the DA the goes all gooey over your remorse, Jacob. <sighs> this doesn't look good for you, Jacob. Okay. Oh. Let's just leave it at You're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. He's, he's trying to give me the old one, too. Blow like this butterfly, sting like a bee. Look at this footwork. It's majestic. Right in the canoodle. Call it in and oh, get a squad yeah. car dispatched. And check for oh, messages. Oh, yeah. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit me with that one-two punch. Operator, Can't give me R&I. Touch me? Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. The blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. What? Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? Really? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace yeah. of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Okay, let's go interrogate the bastard. What the f That scared me. Look away for one second and some shit will scare me right there. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, Whoop. he wouldn't be in this situation <laughs> Get out of the way. now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. A dude who likes to get drunk off his ass and eat a lot? Yeah, it sounds like a dream boat. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. I'll respond to that after I go interrogate the guy. And that's a wall. 
<laughs> God damn Jesus, it! Jesus, Phelps! I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Give me a break. Ah! Oh, Calm crap. down! Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's let's calm down here now. Let's calm down. The ink spots. <laughs> oh God, I'm a menace of society. <laughs> Watch where you're driving, you maniac! You say that after I park? Okay. Interesting. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole folks? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. <laughs> Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Two in the bush, yeah. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. <laughs> that sounds all kind of wrong. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Dang, dude. That sounds all kinds of wrong, Commander. I don't Doesn't know what you're doing here. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. <laughs> Your face got... Shit what do you do up. for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. <laughs> oh, God damn. We've already You're established full of shit, this. Jacob. The truth is, you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket No. Punch. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. Holy I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. What? I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. That's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. You did it. Everything points to you. What does Tex mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me. 
who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Deterioration of marriage. marriage. Was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. Lies. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Marital problems. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? This is true. I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Uh, missing jewelry. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? This is true. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. Well, in that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps! You failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. <sighs> you know what, Captain? You can suck my left nut. Okay. We can still pull down Let's a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. Right. Um We have to go to here. And you're going to be driving. You know the way. You can drive. Hello to people who are watching. Hello, how are you? I'm happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy the game. This is Car 11K. Go ahead. Oi! Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Oh my god. Call an ambulance! Get. Oh, no! I'm sorry, your cause I'm gonna destroy it. The police will pay for it! Oh, no! Oh, no! I got distracted. I have no idea where he went. After I crashed into that car, did he, like, jump off a ramp or something? Tad bit confused. KGBL 20 Century Unit. The citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century Unit identify. This is car 11K. Go ahead. I have arrived. Let's try this again. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. 
This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! After him, you fools! No! I went to an alleyway! Oh no, not again! Oh no! I keep having to do this over and over and over again! No! KGPL 20 Century Unit, the citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Yes, 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 I'm here. I'll try it for third time. This car 11K, go ahead. Third time's the charm. We will block his exit ways. Please, you gotta call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! He just fucking hit that car! <laughs> that was- that hadn't happened before! Oh my god! Now he's behind the car! I'll try to shoot out his tires! Wish me luck! Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in close. There he is. Oh, he's got a gun on him. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. You fucking ass for it. No! Oh, no. I keep messing it up. No.